From the early beginnings, the core of the Spiritans has been openness to the Spirit and our sense of community. A sense of belonging is developed from our concern for the poor, our commitment to service, and our global vision. Our ability to become all that we have been called to be is nurtured by our high educational standards together with our personal and faith development. From the beginning, Spiritans have been offered a ministry of presence and of hope. Over three centuries have brought the Word of God to people on five continents and 60 countries. Our, our contribution as Spiritans is taking the concerns of the local people, whatever that might be, it might be environment, it might be human rights violations like uh, uh, working with, uh, with the refugees, concerns for their rights, putting people together. Uh, I think that's where we, we're, we're, we're the, 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 the catalyst, we're the, 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 the liaison between uh, the people at the, gra uh, the grassroots level and uh, those who can address issues like that. The U.S. Spiritans have been helping the poor and marginalized around the world. Today, there are about 100 Spiritans in 22 American parishes, in various educational works, such as Duquesne University in Pittsburgh, Holy Ghost Preparatory School in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, and in different justice and peace ministries at the service of the poor. We have also two institutes. One is called uh, the Institute for Justice and Peace, which is very much a practical outreach program. On the other side of it, it's called the Transborder Institute. You're probably aware that here in San Diego, you're about 20 miles from the Mexican border. And so we're very much engaged through this institute with things in Mexico. If a spirit and say, I am there for you, so your church will not be closed, or we will work with you to see how we can continue to build this community whether it is small or big, the people will go with that more. We really need to work uh, as part of a team and teams, and that we need to be very well informed from the perspective of multidisciplines. It's not just about theology and philosophy and spirituality, but it's also about having uh, a pretty thorough knowledge of multiple other relevant disciplines to the kinds of work especially that we are involved in. It's great that we have professors, it's great that we have formation directors, and we hope that we don't get in the way of what the Holy Spirit is going to do through the poor. It's a daunting and scary task sometimes. I'm going to learn a new language, I'm going to have to work with the poor. Hopefully all of the, the classes that you take will prepare you for the real education that you're going to get among God's holy people who are poor. They're the best teachers. They know God. They know God better than theologians. And they're the ones who teach you how to be a good missionary. It's a part of every level, your engagement in ministry with someone who is experienced. The Lay Spirit and Associates in the U.S. province um, are increasing in number. We have 10 people in formation now, and um, we are um, anticipating having about five more people who are showing interest enter the formation program within the next year. Uh, so we are a, a growing group um, who intend to um, bring the charism of the congregation into our daily lives and into the work that we pursue. Whether speaking out in pastoral leadership, educating our youth, advocating social justice, or shepherding parish communities, the Spiritans are all in motion all over the United States. I think it's a, it's a fascinating time to be alive as a Spiritan. And um, I think part of the, the fascinating part is that we've really uh, had to, to, you know, jump, leap, as it were, into the water. And uh, we realize, you know, our whole composition of our congregation is changing. Our numbers are varied and they're far different from they were what they were when when I entered the community in 1972. And there's just a new sense of, uh, of um, learning how to, to really collaborate with laity and with, our, with our, the people that, that value what we're doing, grounded in mission, and that we, um, you know, there's just uh, to support, support projects, not only financially, but by going there or by letting the news be known throughout, you know, different parts of, you know, Texas or California or, 
you know, Pennsylvania. If you, if you really have a sense that this is what you are called to do, and I think that's the beauty about a vocation. A vocation develops over years. You grow into a vocation. We all come from a different background. Uh, you know, if I'm Mike who's from the Irish province, I'm originally from Vietnam, I'm in the U.S. province. But uh, even in that adversity, we find just some connectedness there. Our congregation has developed uh, very significantly in, of the, in the last 10 to 20 years uh, along international and intercultural lines. And we perceive that now to be an essential component of our mission of evangelization today. That um, mission is, is, is more, in fact, to do today with who we are and the life we live and the witness we give than the words that we speak. Spiritans privilege education as a means to enliven youthful minds with the Holy Spirit and knowledge. Spiritan fathers and brothers work in six universities, two graduate programs of theological studies, and two secondary schools. At least 15 Spiritan priests are pursuing full-time graduate studies in American universities. I think there's tremendous hope, both for the church, but also for the congregation, as uh, we are challenged to look beyond ourselves and to, to embrace uh, all people and to, to, to plant the, uh, the, the, the important work of the congregation in all the places that we're sent. So I have a lot of hope for the future. But there's a spirit and community art. We're about mission. It's about serving the people of God, especially those most in need. So the students that we serve in our schools, the people in the parishes where we work, that's why we exist. They're the ones that help us to experience the fullness of God's church. And uh, they're, 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 they're the purpose for our, who we are and what we do.